I'm Maggie Woodley and I'm here from Redhead Art with some crafty bloggers to discuss Valentine's crafts with you today. Um, hopefully you all love love crafts and um, if not maybe we can persuade you um, otherwise. Um, for me since having kids Valentine's has become a lot more fun as well because the kids like to get involved and make little things for their children uh, for their friends at school. Um, so you're going to see a lot of the things that we made with the kids this time but I know the other bloggers have different ideas to share for you. So the first one up is hammer bead hearts. Okay, so you need hammer beads and you need the little um, special shapes for them, but my kids can make these for hours and what I like about these is that um, they make them for hours, we make something and they can give it to a little friend at school and you can use them as little coasters or you can hang them up uh, as a little decoration, you can stick them on the front of a card, um, so lots of different things you can do with them. Um, this is my three-year-old stroke now four-year-old making them, but obviously older kids could start putting patterns in or they could try and put initial in the middle, um, but I quite like them all, all mixed up. Hammer beads, there you go, first one. Next one up that the uh, friends can make, kids can make for their friends, they've just been on the blog this week, these are uh, recycled crayons. So basically, um, all those old crayons that have got little stubby bits that the kids don't like using anymore. You you peel off any uh, leftover paper, break it up, put it in a silicon tray, stick it in the oven, uh, and melt. And basically, you can sort of keep an eye on it. Um, I try and keep the colours uh, sort of not not too mixed because you can be if you if you're not careful, you can end up with this sort of brown sludge. Um, but if you get two colours or so, usually that works quite well. Um, and these look really good. Um, and then another thing we did with the kids, oh, we just love hearts, hearts are lovely. Um, I've, I've used this sort of a few times during the Hangouts because these are gifts that, as gifts that kids can make. Um, I used this as a, an opportunity for the children to practice or learn sewing. So I sat there with them and we talked about in, out, in, out. It's just a running stitch that goes like this. Um, and uh, we like this either as a little key ring or you can put it on your book bag or you can put it um, on the Christmas tree. So lots of different ideas, but I quite like it at Valentine's as a little key ring. That's a nice little gift. I'm going to bore you all, aren't I? These are very popular on Pinterest and the rest of the world. Little heart stones. Um, not surprisingly, they're popular because they're so simple to do and they're really, really sweet. Um, literally, a nicely, a nice shaped pebble that's nice to hold um, with a bit of glitter glue or glue and glitter on the top that you then shake off. Um, and you know, my my kids saw these today and they were like, "Oh, can I have them, mummy?" And I think this is a nice present to give your friends at school, and it can live in your pocket and you can hold it and love it. And I love these. And then two more, really quickly. Um, one is because this is on the blog at the moment. Um, I've got a 31 Days of Love series on the blog at the moment, and 62 bloggers are sharing their crafts on my site at the moment. Lots of lovely love crafts, and one of these lovely love crafts is uh, shaving foam marbling, and uh, something that we hadn't had a go at before, and I knew the kids would love to have a go. Um, and it's just a fun process. It's very clean because they're using shaving foam, definition clean. Um, it's very arty. You can cut it into all sorts of shapes. Obviously, here's a heart one, but you can also cut it into stars use different colours, that kind of thing, but it's just making a card with your kids and the kids love the process of making this paper. And then the, um, oh, oh, almost last, I lied, um, I, I did this whilst we were waiting to sort of set up a little pom-pom heart. <laughs> um, I, I, thought, I thought of it when Anthea said something about fluffy hearts and I went, oh, fluffy pom-pom heart, I wonder if it works. And then I googled it and I saw thousands of them out there, so clearly what I thought was an original idea has been done before. This is an ordinary pom-pom trimmed into a heart shape. Isn't that cute? I know you'll be pinching that in the morning, my little girl. And then last but not least, a uh, little heart decoration salt dough. Uh, two parts flour, one part salt, one part water, uh, and just heart shapes, lovely decoration. And that's me. I'm going to pass over now to Ali. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, I've got a few things as well. Um, I think with Maggie's gifts, we need some wrapping paper. So here you go. I'm going to disappear now. You see these? Two hearts, like two hearts beating as one. Valentine's. Very easy to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can either use um, cookie cutters, which we've done in the past, or something that kids really like to do. And a big favourite of Maggie's, we know, loo rolls. You flatten them, score them, and then you turn it into a heart shape. And then you dip them in the paint, like that, and you print. And that makes that easy. So that's that. Um, sticking with the two hearts, printing this one, just for you, Kelly. Um, here we go. Here's a little 
free printable that I had on my site before when we talked about jigsaw puzzles. So here's just two pieces of jigsaw puzzle you can see, sprayed silver and gold, and stuck on the card. Um, more card ideas. Um, we've got these um, quills, quilling. I don't know if you can see that in this light. There you go. Different colours, different heights of the red made into a heart shape. It's nice. It's really once it dries, it's really solid and it's really nice. And tactile. Um, something uh, which appears everywhere on Pinterest, but we did it anyway. Um, are these? So you draw around your hands, having folded a piece of paper in half, and then you cut it out, and it makes a heart shape. So nice. simple, so sweet. I thought you could do loads of these and just string them up and have them as bunting, Valentine's Day bunting. Or equally, this is quite a nice gift to send to Granny, I think, in the post. Um, before we go, and <laughs> utilising this cookie cutter again, I'll have to tip the camera forward. So excuse me while I disappear for a moment, and it smells delicious. <laughs> Here's my plum pie. Can you see that heart-shaped pie with heart-shaped thingamajiggies, leaves, if you like? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's it, really. You can have a slice tomorrow. Hand to go to Anthea now. Bye. Thanks, Ali. Brilliant. That pie looks fab. Right. Oh, hang on. Where, I, where shall I start? Okay. The um, the first thing I've got is very simple. I've been playing with this. This is kind of work in progress. Um, but this is just basically making a really simple heart shape that you. Um, make a structure so you can just decorate a glass to put your flowers in so you just kind of cut a heart shape I, I cut I bent this in half but if you were clever you could kind of use a scalpel and make it a little bit neater and round it but it's just a nice way of disguising and you can kind of write on it you could put a little bit of flowering on it and stuff but anyway I thought that was kind of quite cool it reminds me of my uh, silversmithing days because you can make silversmithing structures the other thing which is an old one of mine I've pinched these from is pipe cleaner hearts just absolutely brilliant these these are in my eldest room these are a year old now big string of these you take a 15 centimeter I'll put it with my hair you can see it then 15 centimeter pipe cleaner you kind of bend it in half curl it down and just poke it through a pony bead very easy look at that that would make quite a nice um, dressing up thing wouldn't it Anyway, <laughs> and the other thing you can do with these, I've, I've done them, I've lost them, but I've stuck little Kirby grips on them so the girls have had them in their hair, as little hair slides. Um, I've got another one, this hangs down the back of our bookshelf, so I just bent a pipe cleaner at the end and we stick books on that. And then this is one where I've glued all the hearts all the way down, and it's a really big long straight one, I can't just see, show you all of that, my arms aren't gorilla length. Um, and you can use them for cake toppers, so loads of things there. Right, these are my fluffy hearts. I love my fluffy hearts. They're a bit boudoir y. There we go, we've got a red one. Oh, I'll it. Look, there we are, my hair again, and a pink one. <laughs> my hair's turning out useful today. Um, and these are really simple. It's just a cardboard cutout, a bit like when you do a Christmas wreath. This is ribbon. Um, so it's like a pipe cleaner ribbon, it's a chenille ribbon, but you could use pipe cleaners as well just as easily to get the same effect and you wrap it around basically the heart shape and you can kind of hang them on the tree, you could stick them on the front of a card, I don't know, earrings, what do you think? They'd be a bit lush, wouldn't they? <laughs> Ali's going, no, no, <gasps> okay, I love these, I've seen these on Pinterest in various guises the old Cupid's arrow from a stick um, and heart. Now I've chosen, we live by the sea, so I've I've gone beach combing and I've got a lovely um, weathered one from the sea, so it's all nice and white, which looks really nice, but you can kind of use any any twig. You can glue them on, um, so, so for young kids, and even for yourself actually, because this was a bit of a faff, you can glue them on, but these, these slide off, and I've signed to make the details, and a lot of people for the kind of quilling and the, um, is it quills? Well, the fluffy bits on the feathers anyway, um, cut them but I've sewn it on and the reason why is I've kind of left the little hook here and this tube goes all the way up so my eldest is going to give this to her her little sweetheart and she can stick a little note inside and hide it then at the end of the, uh, the feathery bit and then what was my other oh here we go I've got into felting I just started felting so I, this was my first felting and this is just using a cookie cutter and you get your um, roving wool and a sharp needle and you 
poke it really, really hard. And you can even make, I made this little bit of string as, as felt as going, I, I twisted it and poked it and twisted it to make, um, and just joined it all up. So this is really simple. And then I decided actually these would make really cool pebbles. So I've made a little set of, again, my girls are coveting these for friends, little set of, whoops, he's upside down of stone pebbles but made from felt so that I've put a little heart on the front so that this is the baby one but on the back so this one because it's nice and big I've managed to put the date so that says 2014 and this one's got a little kiss so they're really nice so uh, and the final one this is going to be a garland but I haven't got around to doing that and again this is again just felting but really lovely like natural natural roving wool with a little red heart on top of it very simple to do as I found out this morning when I came down to breakfast and found all three of my girls stabbing bits of felt making their own so um, that's mine I'm now going to pass you over to Kelly who's got some more goodies to share thanks Anthea don't quite know if I can follow you <laughs> um, where should I start I'll start with um, Ali mentioned um, Valentine's bunting this is my Valentine's bunting, um, which is actually made um, from recycled magazines. So uh, it's probably I think we made this last year. Um, I was I made um, a mobile with 3D hearts, um, and these are the hearts that are left over from it. Basically, all I've done is line them up next to each other. Used um, a heart-shaped cutter that you can buy in sort of most craft stores. Cut them out from magazines, you know, the sort of vaguely red, pink, purpley pages, so they're all sort of Valentine's colours. And then just run them through the sewing machine one after the other, which creates a really simple garland. Um, and like I say, the other ones I used actually for a 3D um, mobile, which is um, on the blog. Basically, I sewed pairs of hearts together and then folded them out to create the sort of 3D structure and strung them from a kind of um, a T shape of. Um, I think I use pencils actually, but it's on the blog, you can find that. Um, these are kind of classic, actually, Pinterest craft now. Um, they are made from cinnamon and apple sauce. So rather than salt dough, um, you get this wonderfully aromatic um, dough. You just bake it in the oven, well, roll it out, bake it in the oven as you would um, with salt dough or things like that. Um, but a year on, and honestly, when I, I, when I took them out of the bag from our discovery table from last year, the entire room suddenly smelled of cinnamon. So I can, I cannot stress to you how strong these are and how well they last, actually, because they are a year old. So those, those, um, perfect for our little. We've got a Valentine's tree that we hang bits and pieces off. Um, then I have these teeny tiny cake toppers. Um, they're similar to um, a craft I did recently. I made some um, hot glue snowflakes. Uh, really similar to those, so I sort of made the shape of the heart with the hot glue onto a sort of non-stick surface and sprinkled it with glitter, waited for it to cool, flipped it over. Um, whilst it was flipped over, I also um, inserted a cocktail stick um, so that then I can use it to, to, to sort of stab into the top of your cakes or, you know, floral decorations, whatever really. Um, so that's that one. This one's sort of slightly different because Rather than um, put the heart shape, if I put it in front of my face, you probably will see better. Um, rather than put the heart shape sort of directly onto, I put it onto um, it's a cellophane. So I did the heart onto the cellophane, sprinkled it with um, this is confetti, and um, and then same thing really. Once it was dry, flipped it over, put the cocktail stick on, did the same thing on the other side, and um, yeah, you could use them look like Valentine spectacles. Just a thought. Um, and then finally, I've got a couple of things. One um, is actually part of the 31 Days of Love on Maggie's blog. Nice plug there. Um, this, which is it's a really tricky thing to show you, but it's actually um, a rose made from a melted down candy cane. <laughs> I'd seen on someone else's blog that you could melt gently candy canes and then you could bend them to make really interesting shapes. Only I hadn't factored in the agar, and within about... For 60 seconds, my gently melted <laughs> candy canes were just this sheet of sugar. Um, but sort of Phoenix from the Ashes type style, I realized that actually you can roll them out and assuming that you have reasonably um, asbestos-like hands, um, create roses fairly easily. And actually they've lasted, I mean, they've lasted all week, so they do pretty well in the regular air. Um, I also have, on the theme of edibles, 
these little, um, they are marshmallow pops. So rather than cake pops, you just take a marshmallow. I don't know if you remember when we were kids at birthday parties, one of the treats would be this marshmallow dipped in chocolate with sprinkles on the top. I can't remember what they called them now, but I totally had this memory of them the other day. Anyway, um, I'm totally digressing. But these are literally dipped in chocolate, sprinkles on the top. Any kid can make them if you wanted to make them. My girls made some of these. Um, and uh, it's a pink and white sort of stripy straw cut in half as a sort of anchor point for those. But they're really sweet, really easy to do. You can put lots of different things on the top. And um, cute snack. And then lastly, we were sent a hairband set by the grandparents for Christmas. And so my girls have made these. And they're terribly sweet. Little heart-shaped headbands. There we go. Quite easy, but there we go. Anyway, I'm going to pass over to Lizzie. Thank you, Kelly. I saw your um, candy canes today on the blog, actually. How come you haven't eaten them yet? Are they still edible? She was saving know. them for the hangout. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so my crafts are, um, are a bit of a theme here. I've gone for the kind of outdoorsy theme because I'm, I'm hankering for a bit of um, nice weather to go outdoors. So the first one I think I've shared before, and actually I should have moved back, it's my... Um, willow hot wreath, which is really, really simple to make. Um, actually, I made a whole load of these before Christmas and we sold them at craft fairs and they went really well. <laughs> and they're free, so that was really good. Um, so, my daughter's getting quite adept at spotting these sticks on the floor now. She knows which ones are the, are the bendy ones and which ones are too brittle. So, um, with the storms as they have been, there's just tons of this line all over the place. So, we pick it up on the school runs. Um, so, you just need uh, willow or um, birch, silver birch, and then you just get a whole bundle of the twigs into a big um, pile, split them in half and fold them around and tie them with a ribbon, so you can't really get any simpler than that. So they're nice to do a wreath on the door, or you can make little teeny tiny ones and put them on presents. Um, and then, well, I've had them up all year round actually, so they're not particularly seasonal, I've just they just look nice, depends what ribbon you put on them, they can be Christmassy or Valentine's Day or whatever. The other thing is also a bit uh, a bit woodland, and that's my silver birch candle, which I did a while back. That's on the blog. Um, it's a little bit, it's quite easy to make, but there's a lot of processes. Obviously, you'll find your bark first, um, and that has to be from a dead tree, not a live tree, because you'll kill it. Um, and then you basically clean it up, wash it up, soak it in water, and then it becomes really pliable. And then you can just wrap it around a jam jar while it's wet. Um, with some elastic bands, and it will hold its shape, and then glue it on. Um, so while it's still while it's still flat, you need to cut out your shape. So just a, a craft knife or whatever will do that. So that's all on the blog. And lastly, this is something I've been doing today, and I haven't finished it yet. We're going to be making some little window catches. So this is just a fern leaf that I've pressed. Actually, I pressed for Christmas wrapping, and totally forgot about them, and found them under my bed, under a pile of books. So, but I thought the shape kind of lended itself really well. So we've just wazzed that through the laminator, um, cut it out, and then we'll string them up and we'll have lots of little hearts that will go up in the window. So that's me, all done. Ah, oh, love all the naturey type Valentine's crafts. And Ali, also have to say your hands. You said it was all over Pinterest. I've not seen that before. That hand heart card. I think that's lovely. And um, oh, yeah, no, I invented that. Oh, clearly, clearly. And I had to just say with uh, uh, Kelly, when you said how sweet your little um, marshmallows are, they probably are very sweet indeed, aren't they? Pardon me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's the sign she's picture. younger than us. So when I was at school, we had sprinkles on white bread, not marshmallows. Oh, goodness, <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, so I hope you are inspired um, to do some little love, heart crafts, some little treats for friends and family, get the kids involved, um, just make something for their best friends or for granny. I think, you know, telling somebody that you love them all year round is an important thing. That, I mean, for me, it's not about the day itself, but it's about showing that you care whenever. Um, so uh, thank you, everybody, and hopefully see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.